One of the most arresting images that we've seen is this roof of an intensive care unit at a Port Charlotte hospital with around 160 patients having blown off as Hurricane Ian was pounding Florida. Just take a look at this video here inside the ICU. The entire floor covered with water. The stairwell looking like a waterfall. We are told that no one was able to evacuate the hospital last night. So obviously uh, this is interrupting uh, some of the care that patients have been receiving there. Joining us now with an update, we have internal medicine specialist, Dr. Birgit Bodine. Um, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. From the relative dry of the room that you are in, thank goodness, um, can you just tell us how, you, how your patients are doing? Is anyone's health or life in danger from the conditions that at least part of this uh, hospital is in? Luckily, everybody was uh, super fantastic, and uh, very, very quickly we got people out of the ICU. The problem then ended up being that this water gushed down the stairwells, as you see there, and onto other floors. So first, we initially had to evacuate everybody out of the ICU, which of course are critical patients. We were able to get them into the PACU, which is essentially the operating room post-recovery area where they can handle ICU patients. Um, after that, though, we started to see the that water is going everywhere. So we had to get a lot of our patients out of the rooms and into the hallways. We still have them. I've been up since 2.30 this morning rounding. We are trying to get everybody out. Luckily, everybody's doing good and actually surprisingly in, in decent spirits because they can see that we're trying the best we can with what we have. Um, and the staff certainly is super fantastic. Everybody's been in-house now for the last 48 hours, pretty much. Um, none of us have gone home yet. Um, we've all slept here, taken turns for a few hours here and there. Um, our plan is to try to get these patients out this morning, obviously. Mm -hmm. You're going to try to evacuate them this morning. Uh, you cannot be in these conditions for very long. The pictures are just terrible here. Um, tell us what it was like going through the storm. I mean, you described moving from one place to another and then the waterfall effect of this water. Were you worried that this was going to be a situation where you couldn't find refuge in hallways and keep this at bay? Um, yes and no. I mean, luckily patients are in bed. So even though to this moment, we still have water in the hallways that we're all kind of sloshing through, the patients are obviously elevated in their beds. So luckily the patients are safe in terms of that. We also have one wing of the hospital that is dry that we have been able to uh, triple up some patients into rooms um, so that as many are there as possible. Um, but yes, it's it, it was... Uh, chaotic, but I have to say I'm very proud of everybody here who's been working here. It was a little bit of an organized chaos. So even though we weren't expecting that, um, there were so many people there that we really had hands on deck um, and they, everybody pitched in. Well, look, we're so glad that everyone is safe. It's amazing to see what you guys dealt with and we'll be monitoring this to see your uh, evacuations. We hope they go smoothly this morning. Dr. Bodine, thanks for your time this morning.